What's up guys? Welcome to the New Orleans Travel Vlog. Let's go. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to part 3 of my New Orleans March Madness experience. This is the national championship part, so you definitely want to watch this. And if you haven't seen part 1 and 2, go back to my channel, you can watch those two videos. But if you're all caught up, let's get straight into it. Alright, so we're starting from day 4. The other days, the first part was day 1, second part was day 2 and 3. If you guys want to see those days, you gotta go to those videos. So to start out day 4, I got about 2 hours of sleep the night before because we went to Bourbon Street. It was a very nice, sunny, warm day. It's pretty much been nice weather the entire trip. So for today, we start out the day by going to the convention center and working waivers just like the day before but this time we did it in the main area so when we got off time and when we just wanted to walk away we just had fun checked out the stuff like we did the day before but for you guys if you've seen part two you will know that i saw bill walton walk in so for today at&t had dr j julius irving which if you don't know him you can look him up he is in the nba 75 as well he played on the sixers he's an nba legend hall of famer i even snapped a selfie with him well, yeah, that's my boy right there. <laughs> so after we worked waivers for a while, we wanted to go to the mall. It was just down the street from the convention center, and we wanted to get lunch and just shop around a little bit, have a little bit of fun. And of course, this was like the third or fourth time we got canes on that trip, so we had to get canes again. The very nice lady actually gave me a free cane sauce, which with everything, with all the prices rising, apparently cane sauce actually costs money. I don't agree with that, but the lady gave me it for free, which thank you if you're watching this. <laughs> While we were walking around the mall, we were just checking out the outlets. Some of the outlets, they had some pretty cool jerseys, like some customized jerseys, including this one I'm gonna show right here. It was a Fresh Prince jersey, like a Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and I loved that show. I don't know if you guys watched that show, with Will Smith when you guys were younger, but I definitely did. I saw that series about three times. So then after that, we actually got to work as volunteers, as wayfinders at the Macklemore and Imagine Dragons concert. That was pretty sweet. They were playing all the music that I would listen to when I was younger, which was pretty nostalgic. When we went to the concert, we had to check in, get our credentials. We saw the city around us. It was very beautiful. It was in downtown New Orleans. We then walked to the concert, basically all the way to the back to where the other entrance was. So when we passed by, we passed by the stage, we could hear all the music going on, and then once we got to the area we were supposed to be working at, we were able to watch the concert on a big screen in the middle of the area, which is pretty much what we did the entire time. I also bought my dad a shirt while we were working, because we didn't really actually have to work, it was just basically answering questions, which included, where's the bathroom? That's the only question. So basically the entire time, we were looking around the area, looking around taking in the downtown area and you may recognize this from the intro that I've used for now three times. The concert was crazy. We got to see Macklemore perform and Imagine Dragons perform. Macklemore was first and this one kid went up on the stage and was going crazy with Macklemore. He was dancing like he was having the time of his life because I mean he got brought up on stage as a little kid. You have to be excited about that. The entire time we were watching the concert on the big screen it was very entertaining to watch it from there but later in this video you'll see that we got to go to the concert. We got to walk as close as we could to the stage so keep watching if you want to see that. Later in the shift, when Imagine Dragons started performing, Trey and I were offered to go on the Ferris wheel in the middle of where we were working. So of course, we said yes. Why wouldn't we? For free. So we went on the Ferris wheel. I got some pretty cool videos, some pretty cool pictures. We got to actually see the Imagine Dragons concert from up there, but not as neat as when we went there, which I'm going to show you guys now. basically didn't need to do our job anymore. So for the last 45 minutes, we went to where the concert was going on and walked through everybody that we could, try to get as close to the concert as possible. We got somewhat close, not that close, but good enough to see the concert. This was actually my first concert, so this was very exciting for me. I had never experienced a concert before, which I know, surprise, right? But I plan to be at a lot more concerts in the future, so I guess my first one was for free. That's cool. <laughs> and I know I kind of can't not show a video of the concert, so here you guys go. Here's a little bit of it. Can you complete it? It's not the high one yet. I see you. Young girl, with a quick fuse, I was uptight, part of that loop. 
as you guys can see, the concert was amazing. Once we finished up, we went back on this pretty fancy bus, this charter bus. We were kind of surprised that it was a little five minute drive back to the convention center, then they give us this. But that's gonna wrap it up for day four. Now on to day five. To start day five, surprise, surprise, drove to the convention center, of course. So as usual, great, sunny, warm day, as I'm used to saying now, probably for the fifth time. We had to go to the convention center somewhat early in the morning to attend some meeting. Uh, let's just say I slept for almost the entire time and along with a few others that were sleeping for the entire time. So that gives you a picture of what it was like. <laughs> but the perk of going to that meeting was that the national championship trophy was actually in that room. So I got to take a few pictures with it. So that was really cool seeing it. We couldn't touch it. I didn't want to accidentally break it. It's actually bigger in person than you would think. After we got to take some pictures with the national championship trophy, I picked up some gear, picked it up for me, my mom, and my little brother. They didn't have any sizes for my dad. So then, time to move on to the national championship part of the video, which I'm very excited to talk about. So to work the national championship, we actually had to pick up our credentials from a very fancy hotel that had a buffet for us when we were done with our shift. Working the national championship, we weren't working during the game. We were actually working before the game. We were working as wayfinders to let people know which club they needed to go into, which I guess there were... I believe there were six clubs. We did that for about four hours, I believe. It was easy, it was fun. When we were working at the national championship, when we started our shift, I realized that the entire arena was empty. So I thought, why not just walk through and check it out? It was insane seeing the whole building empty. The entire arena empty. So I got to take some cool pictures and videos for you guys just to view what it looked like when there weren't 70,000 fans in the building, which by the way, confirmed 70,000 fans are in the building for the national championship, which that's just insane. I mean, that's a big, that's a big number. <laughs> so while we were helping people find their way to the clubs, we thought, why would we watch the game eating a buffet in a hotel right down the street from the national championship? We thought, how much are the tickets? Personally, I thought they were gonna be way, way, way too expensive. We looked up online to get nosebleed seats. They were $35 each. So of course we jumped on that. So then once we finished our shift, the game started. We went back to the hotel, grabbed some stuff to eat because because we were hungry and they set out free food for us. And after we ate, we made the walk back to the arena, which the lights on the outside of the arena looked very cool, very bright, very festive. It's like the beads that I'm wearing. And yes, I forgot to wear the beads in part one and two. So I thought, why not wear beads for the finale of this three part video? So after we walked back to the arena, got in, went up to our seats, which were nosebleed seats. We actually didn't mind them. The seats were actually pretty cool from up there. We could see everything from a different angle. Since at the North Carolina Duke game, we were down below, we looked up, we could see everybody. But this time we were up and we could see everybody from down low. So we stayed in our nosebleed seats until halftime. North Carolina was up by 15, which we thought it was going to be a blowout game. We thought it wasn't going to be a good game. North Carolina was destroying Kansas. At halftime, me and my friend Will walked around the stadium a little bit just to see how long it would take for us to get around the arena, which actually it took 15 minutes. That's a while to walk around one single building. During halftime, we knew that nobody was checking to see where people were seated and stuff. So Will and I decided we'll go to the lower bowl for the second half of the national championship. In the second half, the unexpected happened, which if you saw the game, you know exactly what happened. North Carolina blew the lead against Kansas and it was a close game the entire second half once they came back. It was very exciting to see. In the end, Kansas actually secured the lead, which made it the largest comeback in national championship history. So we not only got to witness Coach K's final game and the first time Duke and North Carolina faced each other in March Madness, but we also got to witness the greatest comeback ever in national championship history. It was very cool seeing in person them winning and hoisting up the trophy and all the confetti rushing out. This year they didn't shoot the confetti from up on the roof, which I wish I could have seen, but it was fine because the celebration was fun to watch anyways. And after the game, we didn't really do anything, so enjoy this Zion mural outside of the arena that I never took a picture of until now. And that is going to wrap it up for my New Orleans March Madness experience. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me on this adventure, and just know there are many more to come. And in the comments below, comment which team you thought was gonna win the national championship. And as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that push notification bell so you make sure you don't miss out on new videos. I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Lord,